Hello, 2A for USA. And uh, as you can see, it's still uh, daylight. I'm outside still. And yes, it is still the 4th of July, Independence Day. But this video is going to be a bit uh, on the more on the serious side. Um, I'm titling it Cowards versus Conviction. And what do I mean by that? Well, when this country was formed, when the men signed the Declaration of Independence, they did so knowing that they would be branded as traitors uh, uh, with Great Britain. And uh, especially then, the punishment for treason was death by hanging. They knew fully well what the punishment was when they signed that document, separating them from England. Then they fought a war, a brutal, bloody, long war, to separate officially. And they hammered out the Articles of Confederation, which didn't last too awful long until they finally figured out the Bill of Rights and the Constitution, which is the foundation of our government. Now in that, both in the, in the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution, there are means and there are ways to change what's wrong with this country. There's an awful lot of tyranny going on. People don't see it as tyranny. But if you go back and read the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence, you'll find out that what was intended and what is fact now are two very different things. Uh, we live in a veritable police state at this point. Uh, I've read stories where uh, a police force in Nevada invaded a man's house uh, against his will so they could set up surveillance, essentially breaching the Third Amendment of the United States, which shall not give quarter unless uh, granted permission by the homeowner. So our First Amendment, our Second Amendment, oh, there's one. Our First, Second, Third, Fourth, Fifth Amendments are now being attacked on every level. Here's the thing. I commend those in Colorado and Magpul um, when they sold all the 30 round mags with the day or two before the law went into effect to kind of thumb their nose at Colorado and I found it brilliant and I applaud uh, Magpul for doing that. Nearly 5,000 or over 5,000 people attended to get these magazines and uh, other items. And then July 1st, which was supposed to be a day to break the law as a protest, 24 people showed up. 5,000 people showed up to get the magazines and 24 showed up to actually demonstrate a protest against the law that they got the magazines for. Cowardice, conviction. All right. I understand people have families and they have lives and they're afraid to get arrested. I understand that. But remember, this country is founded on people who are willing to be hung if caught. Okay, hung if caught. And their families would have been destroyed as well. And yet we have people who bought all these magazines and didn't show up to protest. Imagine if all 5,000 or even if 1,000 people who bought those magazines just a few days before, protested. That would have sent a huge message. And today, 4th of July, Independence Day, Adam Kokesh, I know he's been a controversial uh, character on YouTube. He showed up in DC with his gun, loaded it, and then left. 
Where were all the other people? Are we that afraid of our government? That, my friend, is tyranny, pure and simple. If we're so afraid of our own government and being arrested, that's, that's, that's tyranny. Do we want to live under tyranny? I don't. If I was in DC, I would have gone. I live in California. We have our own tyrants here. And that's another thing. Well, I belong to several forums and several uh, groups. And for the most part, we've been holding back, stating that let the lawyers handle it, let the courts handle it, let's, let's get a favorable ruling. It's getting to that point, though, that our rights are being taken away faster than we could go to court with them. So when is it time for us to just defy an unconstitutional law? There has to be a point. Yeah. We, we have to say, here's the line in the sand, and that's it. I know that I might be arrested. I know that there might be jail. But folks, if we don't stand up, it's gonna get to a point where it's just too late. It is. It will be, it will be too late, and you're gonna wonder. Well, wait a minute. How come we didn't do this? Or how come we didn't do that? Or where'd this come from? Well, it's because you sat on your ass, worrying about getting arrested. I don't say this lightly. Honestly, I don't say this lightly. But cowardice, conviction. You have to look deep in yourself and, and ask, how do I want to live? Do I want to live as a free man or woman? Or do I want to live under the rulership of uh, the elite, of an overbearing, over-militarized police force? Do I want to live under a uh, overbearing and, and an oppressive federal government. Again, as an example, this is celebrating our independence, our way of saying no more. I mean, haven't you had enough? Aren't you tired of this? I am. Well, have a good fourth. I hope it's. I hope it was good. I don't know when I'll be able to post this, but I hope you all had fun and uh, were able to light off your fireworks and did the barbecue and had time with your family and, and stop and think about it. Soon that'll be taken away from you. The fireworks are technically illegal in this uh, city as it is, but people light them off anyways. There's too many people, police can't do anything, so they don't do anything. Again, showing their independence. Step up. Have a good day. This is 2A for USA.